Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today, we get the opportunity to show off the very first gameplay of the brand new Zombicide coming from Simon. This is going to be Undead or Alive, launching February 17th on Kickstarter. Link, as always, in the top description of this video. Now, I'm not going to give you too big of an overview or, or swing into too much detail. I want to get you to the gameplay as quickly as possible. But here's what I'll say. If you've ever wanted to play Red Dead Redemption, the zombie mode, on the table in front of you, you want to be a gunslinger or a tavern keeper or a doctor or a coal miner who is uh, coming out of the mines with a pickaxe clutched in his hands ready to swing and barrel through a few zombie heads, this is going to give you that opportunity. If you also like the idea of a train lumbering through the center of town that you have to uh, complete a series of quests and then jump onto the back of just in the nick of time, well again, this is going to give you that opportunity. There's a few adaptions and changes that are introduced into this uh, version of Zombicide uh, from some uh, things that happen on the board that make it a little bit more easy and accessible to keep track of your strategy and also move around the terrain itself but we'll be going through all of that and digging into all of that on this gameplay. Uh, there will be timestamps on this gameplay to allow you to jump around a little bit because this is going to be a TTS session, which gives us the opportunity to play with a variety of people from all across the world, but is not always the best way to display a brand new board game. Uh, so, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this gameplay. If you're brand new to Quackalo, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to throw it to myself once again saying hello, hello. Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today, we are playing uh, a brand new theme and new system for Zombicide, uh, which I am actually incredibly excited about. I love good westerns, and this one uh, right now is striking my fancy. Uh, however, I'm not playing. I'm going to be your lovely cameraman, making sure that this video, uh, because it is on TTS, is as watchable as possible so you can follow along with the players, see everything that's happening, and actually enjoy the experience. That being said, I'm joined with four incredible people who are going to be torn apart by zombies in a uh, series of unfortunate events. Uh, I am joined with Helena. Uh, thank you for being here. We hung out and played together uh, with the Massive Darkness 2 campaign. Uh, yeah. You are the lead marketing director at CMON, or at least that's the title that we have assigned you, uh, and thus it shall be. I'm also here with Jazz, Lobby of Hobbies. Good sir, give me a quick breakdown of what people will find when they swing over to your channel. Um, pretty much we do uh, YouTube reviews, um, board games. The idea is we just want to share uh, the games that we enjoy in hopes that you guys discover something worth checking out. So um, we do a quick overview of games. We check and we ask the question, can you dig it? Pretty much we look at how diverse the game is with respect to, um, you know, what, what does it target? Does it target new gamers? Does it target experienced gamers? We ask, is the game interesting? Like, is it intriguing? Is it something that's going to be inviting to you? And then we the last question is the game good people want to know when you play a game is it good is it worth me even checking out buying it just playing it once whatever the case may be so again like with this game i'm gonna see can i dig it i like it uh so that's gonna be the lobby of hobbies anyone that's watching should swing over hit the subscribe button give them a little bit of love and then i am here with uh two other incredible individuals one i'm super excited to have on the channel the other i've been trying to get rid uh rid of for a, a period of time shira you're the person that I am glad who is here. Uh, you are a close friend of Alex and I. Uh, we have played a multitude of games together, including a series of which you beat me uh, one after other. So if anyone's going to sit in and, uh, and take charge of this show, uh, I, think, I think you're a good person to put in, uh, to put in the hot seat. Uh, we have already determined, though, Alex and I, that if we lose, it is likely your fault. Almost certainly. Yeah, I mean... Thanks. I accept responsibility. <laughs> yeah. And, and just to context, Shira, how many games of Zombicide have you lost so far? All. Okay, I have just never checking. won a game of Zombicide because that should give Alex you context. purposely makes it harder. Well, mm, I mean, sound look, it's, it's here to say it doesn't sound weird, real at all. Uh, Alex, good sir. We've done a lot of things together. I don't feel like I need to introduce you. So instead, could you please introduce this game? 
Absolutely. So, Zombicide. I'm going to do a quick overview of the general Zombicide. We're obviously playing a different game. I'll leave it to Helena to cover the differences because while I know Zombicide, I, I don't want to butcher the differences. But Zombicide at its oh, core yeah. is You'll going butcher to be... Zombicide and other things as well. That's, that's okay. totally fine. That's the way it works. I probably am playing Zombicide wrong my whole life, and I'm about to find out now. Uh, Zombicide at its core is going to be a cooperative experience where we are controlling six different heroes between the any number of players. Uh, you're going to be trying to achieve certain objectives depending on the scenario and play generally most objectives involve some form of surviving or accomplishing certain zones accomplishing recovering weapons doing different things along those lines the turn structure in this game is basically going to come down to each hero taking their turn one at a time taking three actions in the game those actions involving attacking moving searching things like that attacking is going to be important because you want to stay alive moving is going to be important because you want to stay alive and searching is going to be important because you want to stay alive. Those are generally <laughs> the structure of Zombicide in the game. And once you're done with all your turns, once all players have taken their turns of actions, that's when you get to the part where you no longer stay alive because the zombies will activate uh, moving around the board, attempting to slaughter you in mass before spawning more zombies who are going to attempt to slaughter you in mass in about you know a few minutes or so. That's basically the core structure of Zombicide. That's the core idea of what's going on in this game. And from there, Helena, what's new? Hey. Um, first I'll go, through, I'll go through what changed and then we'll go through what's new. So what's changed? You may notice we have no doors on this board. That's because opening a door is no longer an action. You just walk in whatever building you want to. But by doing so, you will notice that there is a corpse pile in every building. That corpse pile becomes a temporary spawn point. So once you walk in the building, it activates just like any spawn point on the map, it will spawn point, it will, it will spawn zombies every single round until you deactivate it. How do you deactivate it? We have two items, two new items for this game, the holy water and the regular water. Any survivor can use the holy water to deactivate the temporary spawn point. And only the faithful class can use regular water as holy water. We also have a different type of temporary spawn points, which is the abomination spawn points. You can see one right here on the mine. Once the abomination spawns, this uh, spawn point becomes active and it will spawn points for every round until we defeat the abomination, then it deactivates. I always, I always knew breathing unfiltered coal dust would have bad effects on you. Yes, it does. Terrible, in fact. <laughs> So temporary spawn points. And that adds another way to lose the game, a new way to lose the game, which is once there are seven active spawn points on the board, you lose automatically. Okay, uh, so we have temporary spawn zones, the doors are gone, we have holy water, and we don't have noise tokens anymore. We have this single bang token. So whenever someone shoots or makes any kind of noise, we will move the bang around and the zombies will follow only the last bang. You don't have to count noise tokens anymore. Unless someone throws dynamite or uses the Gatling gun, then instead of a bang, you get a boom, and boom takes precedence over bang, so zombies will follow that. For now, we only have a bang at the starting point for the survivors. Now for what's new, and I'll start with the elephant in the room, the train tracks. <laughs> We have a train in the game and eventually it will come and it will just mow down whatever is on its way. It will destroy all the zombies there. Survivors are slightly smarter and will just step aside <laughs> and not get killed. Um, other than that, we have balconies. Those are high ground. You shoot from above. Zombies don't get to you unless they climb these stairs but and you have to get to and you have to keep your eye out for that because there is only one way in or out the balconies so if there are lots of zombies you get trapped in them uh other than that we have the bounty weapons these are very powerful weapons and you have to complete the, bo the bounty to get them and they are normally very hard this first one here you have to kill three zombies or more with a rifle in a single turn then you get the bounty weapon. Another way to get them is by collecting objectives. You get an objective, you get one for free. And we have this Gatling gun, which you can see in the starting point with us. 
The Gatling gun is a very powerful weapon. Uh, it is over a cart. And you, any survivor can use three actions to push the cart to another zone. Just one zone, though. Three actions to push it, one zone. It is very powerful, though. And it does have the escalation effect. So for each turn in a row you are using the Gatling gun, you get an extra die. And more complex last, we have classes in this game. There are four classes, Gunslinger, Brawler, Faithful, and Townsfolk. All of them have a special, a special ability. Gunslingers get fanning, so you roll six die when, when you have a pistol, and accuracy is a five plus. So you shoot a lot, but with very low accuracy. Um, Cassie here is a brawler, so she gets charged. She can move, she can move up to two zones to a zone of zombies and perform a melee attack all in a single action, and she gets three health instead of two. Concepcion is from the Faithful class, so she has Vajahetro, which is this token that makes all zombies in a zone loser activation, and this is the only class that can use regular water as holy water. Last, we have Jeb, who is townsfolk, so he has two special skills. He can search more than once, and uh, his line of sight is not limited by rooms. He can see everything in a single line when looking at a building, like looking inside a building. That's what's new for zombie sites, undead or alive. I have to say, this is perhaps the toughest zombie site I have played. And I do hope we survive. <laughs> the train is coming in five turns. Every turn, we will move this objective token. One zone to the right, and once it leaves the board, the train arrives, and we have three turns to get on it and get out of town. And uh, in order to win, we have to successfully leave. Everyone has to successfully leave on the train. Yes. Uh, and also, I believe we have to complete a certain amount of bounty weapons. Is that correct? Yes, six bounty weapons. Six bounty weapons. And there's only four locations on the board. So there are going to be some that we have to specifically complete as challenges. Uh, everyone feel ready to play? Die? You lose? Absolutely. <laughs> what? You mean lose? I believe uh, we already established if we lose, it's Shira's fault. So she did I'm, take I'm responsibility. Fine with losing, honestly. Cool. Excellent. So I will go ahead and take my first turn with Molly, starting off with my first of three actions. Uh, I, I think the, the right thing to do, the, the obligatory thing to do, is to walk in here. Just to run start. into a room? Uh, it's, listen, I can, I can move closer further but now I'm this this is room. a western do you like kick open the swinging doors how are you how are you approaching no this no they remove doors i can't i can't kick open the door i'm just i'm just wandering in <laughs> it's like one of the saloon you know the saloon doors where they kind of just swing open it's not yeah. really much of a that's what we're dealing with here so i walked into the room i believe helena we spawn a zombie po zo spawn point yes you yes. it okay uh there is an objective right here which means i could take it which seems like the right move hmm I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the objective. Boom. So, okay, we'll take that, which I believe gives me one of the weapons. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. Excellent. And then I have one action left. Uh, I can search, right? Oh, you, you don't want to see what you got? Oh, I get to flip that. Let's do go ahead and yeah. flip that. And I got a coach gun bounty weapon, zero to one range, three dice, hits on a three plus doing one damage or one strength. Uh, and that is going to do a bang token when I shoot it. Hmm. Excellent. Okay. There are no zombies to attack yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and search. Is this the search deck over here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and draw one of those and uh, flip that. And we have a pistol, which is excellent. <laughs> just getting all the weapons. Dual all swinging. The weapons. And that's my turn. That's my uh, activation for, for her. Three actions, and we're good to go to the next step. So I believe the next step is going to be Cassie. Yeah. Okay. So Cassie, I, I think, if I recall correctly, splitting up in the zombie side is always the best way to do it. It is a good plan. It, and opening so, every room that you possibly can is usually the next best thing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, she can't. There's no zombies yet. I want the zombies. Because Cassie has an ability where I can charge and, and to a zone containing zombies, but I can't do that right now. Alex, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I do want to remind you, Helena does have some experience with these titles and has said this is the hardest one she's played. I, I know I know your guttural instinct is to say, let's test that methodology. Let's test that <laughs> methodology. So I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, 
Um, and I think, you know, I guess I do need to get some weapons. So I'm going to go one, two, no, <laughs> fine, fine. You're ruining my fun, Jesse. I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to search so that I can get a weapon. And just because I feel something is, feels helpful here. And that's going to be a pickaxe. Excellent. A melee weapon for her. She's a melee person. That's better. And that's then better. I think, um, I guess I will... I will walk one closer so I can start engaging with those zombies as soon as they spawn. And that's going to be my turn. Oh, that's a brave kid. Yeah. Well, they, 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 just... they, 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 they don't do anything after they spawn. They're safe. And, There's no changes there. And just for, <laughs> and just for the record, the artwork depicting Cassie does entirely demonstrate someone that has no fear. Yes. That is true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not like, like Jeb. Jeb's terrible. She's also clearly a young kid because anyone with that demeanor probably didn't make it to adulthood. It's like the new age Carl. So, okay. So Concepcion will will do one for the team and will push the cart with a Gatling gun forward. <laughs> Spend her entire <laughs> activation on that. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that getting the Gatling gun to the center may strategically be something worth doing. I have lost yes. this game a bunch of times <laughs> already. The better question is, have you won it? <laughs> I will not answer that. I haven't. I have not. I'm so excited. <laughs> the Kobayashi See, moves on the side. It's not going to only be my fault. It's also going to be Helena's fault. <laughs> um, we have it recorded at the beginning, you accepting responsibility, uh, which yeah, was a foolish thing to true. do, but it's too late now. It is because... Uh, I'm playing with his Jewish people. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Jab over here. We'll just search for better equipment. So let's see what he gets. Plenty of shells. Cool. I'll keep that in my backpack. Nice. Mm, that was bad. Okay. Uh, I will search again because that is useless unless I get better weapons. Okay, I have a Winchester. Cool. Slightly better than what you, well, slightly different slightly than what better. you currently have. Yeah. Yeah. And that is it. All right. Carl, feeling like the big baddie over here. Let's, let's go in. Well, he's a, he's a baddie, but also a gentleman about it. Uh, yeah, gentleman. Like I said, he he's a chef. You know, he's got his pan, but he needs more. He ne needs more weapons. So let's see. He's going to search. Oh, he's got a pistol. A Remington. Okay. A Remington. All right. Not bad. Not as effective as a pen, a pan, but still a good alternative. Yeah, definitely. So uh... pan reminds me of Tangled. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's not going to sit back. He's going to actually join Cassie in the next room. He wants some. He wants some action on these zombies as well. Oh wow! Nice. Let's go. Double team in him, and then that would be my third action. And then we have Trixie. All right. My assumption is you're just going to go ahead and open up a brand new room. Is that right? <laughs> no, I want to go onto the balcony. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm going to enter one, but I should search. Can I? Is the balcony a location to search as well? Um, yeah, yeah. But you know what? You can just jump there. By jumping, you can move up to two zones and you ignore whatever is in the zone you jumped over. So you can just jump to the balcony in a single action. Nice. I am in the balcony. One. She like hikes up her skirt a little bit and just scales <laughs> the side of the wall. Um, two, I'm going to search. And... Trixie specifically has that jump ability. Not everyone can do that. Yeah. How do I pick up a card? Oh, uh, so you could either very quickly quick click and drag, um, or you could press uh, one or two on your number pad and then take it out of your hand and place it on your board. Okay, I got a shotgun. And you want to go ahead and okay. grab that and place it down in front of you. Right here. Yeah. Okay. So you hiked up, you hiked it up to the balcony and then just found a shotgun kind of leaning against the rail. Yeah. yeah. To join my other rifle. Um, and then I'll search again. I'll search again since I'm a townsfolk. One. Um, 
Uh, show. Showfield. Showfield. Again, not as effective as a pan, but good enough. Good enough in a, you know in crunch time. Well, do exactly. I? Okay. Okay. And those are my three actions. I believe now zombies. I feel like yes. we have this handled. I, I gotta agree yeah. with Alex here. I don't feel threatened. Nope. Okay, let's see how we feel after the first spawn. <laughs> okay, so first spawn point we get two, two fatties. Two fatties. Yeah. <laughs> and where oh, are we starting from? There. Perfect. Here, the yellow. Okay. Next one. Two walkers. Okay. okay. There you go. Now, wh which one is it? Is it the temporary spawn point? Yeah, the corpse like yeah. file. Yeah. That one there. What are we playing with? Oh, oh, fatties. Just fatties. Just fatties. Just fatties. Yeah. Now, uh, this is where I'm realizing the tactical nature of our error. We don't have a strength two weapon, do we? I was about to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we do not. Mm. No, no, the now, pickaxe. The pickaxe deals two damage. Who has the pickaxe? Uh, oh, I yes. have a pickaxe. You have a pickaxe. pickaxe. And coincidentally, isn't she going first this round? Yeah. Cool. And last, we Just have topics. four fatties. <laughs> okay, four fatties. The nice so, thing about the fatties is once you learn how to murder one of them, they're easy to take care of. Mm -hmm. The Schofield also is a, is a ranged. Yes, is, I did notice that. The Schofield and the Winchester. So you do have a few level two level two weapons. Okay, excellent. So, oh, um, the show field. Okay, so you can take down some fatties from the balcony. Now, yeah, there's no concentrated can... fire, is there? No, no friendly fire. No, 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 no concentrated fire. From Zombicide Invader, when you uh, roll multiple dice, target a single target. Oh, no. Perfect. Okay, I do not like that mechanic. Okay, um, great. So, uh, uh, okay, so Kazi is going to go ahead and start off this round. With, the uh, her... first player badge moved down to her. Yes. yes. And she is standing coincidentally next to a fatty. Uh, weren't there two fatties spawned here? Yeah. Where is the second fatty? Let me grab me. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with a roll, which means I need to find some dice. So let's, let's all collectively roll dice in the same location for now can we just do that in like the middle of the train tracks certainly so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to roll some dice here and one two three and we are rolling a a four and a three plus. and it hits on a four plus so one fatty is dead and i yes. go up one experience okay yeah. nice. then i'm going to go ahead and do the same because that seems like a good idea uh okay control control and we're going to go ahead and roll and we're gonna get a four plus he said confidently, and a four plus he got. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Nice. And we're going to go up one there, and another fatty is dead. And then I believe the safest move is to stay exactly there and search. Okay. I'm just I'm just imagining with the with the pickaxe, you just kind of like stuck in one end and then pulled it out and just pus started pouring. That's exactly how I was imagining it. Yeah. And I believe those are three actions for myself, and that would be my turn. You don't the imagine games. doesn't make any bang noises, right? No, no. There we no. go. Now, Helena, one thing I do want to note, I picked up an objective with Molly. I should have five experience points, correct? Oh. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's right. I sure. skipped over that part, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Conception. Conception. Okay. I'll just keep moving that card <laughs> forward. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm a nun with a purpose. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that's it for Concepcion, poor thing. Uh, what, where is Jeb? Jeb is just hanging around in that, that building. I'll just move on to the other building. One, two, three. Three, I guess. Can I do that? I only have rifles. I don't have any melee weapons. You're going to be activating a spawn zone. And dying. Not, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. The one, two. You know what? I'll search before I move. 
more shells. I have no use for this. No use for them, so right? So I can benefit from shells, um, and you... Yeah, I can benefit from shells with Molly. Oh, so I, I guess I'll just stay here then, and you take one from me in your turn. I mean, I'll be moving out as well if you want to uh, walk out. Okay, so meet me here. Cool. If you meet me halfway, <laughs> right at the borderline is where we're going to die. Oh, okay. that was Cheb's turn, right? Yeah. All right. So Carl says, I was thinking of the, like, I start walking your way. You start walking mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's uh, search because uh, Carl's like, good job, young man. And so the way to take out these temporary spawn points is going to be with holy water. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. So we just need to search our way to some holy water. What did oh. I say? Getting that, getting I, that machete. Yeah, I just have to. I just have to reiterate. You did clarify early on that you do love machetes. I love machetes. I I have one in my closet up upstairs, so I can equip that right now, right instead of the pan. Like place that in that. You pan. you can, but you don't. It, have don't need to. to. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. So I got that, and I like it. I like it. So. Search machete once. has even been in Zombicide. Nice. And then let's uh, move here for one and then two. Right there. Moving out. And that would be my turn. Okay. And then Trixie. I want to use my shotgun. And I can shoot down from my balcony. Can I aim for this horde of yeah. zombies? I have well, line so of only... sight on both um, yeah, but both. the only problem is the Please. shotgun has a strength of one and your shovel has a range of one. Mm. Those are all fatties, you're saying? Yep. Right. But the yeah. question is, Helena, yeah. these two over here, is that range three? Hmm, that's one. Hmm. I would say yes. That would be okay. one, two, three. Yeah. So these guys. Yes, indeed. There's pepper right. with shells. How many die, die do I roll? Uh, looks like a one die per shot. That's better. Right. That'll work. That works. There goes one down, right? Okay. Yeah. You have two actions left. That'll Ooh. kill him. Nice. Yeah. As far as I can tell, this is going all right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, <laughs> it's no, no, no. It's totally <laughs> fine. We got this. I if I know more. anything about the zombie side games, they start off as hard as they'll ever be. Yes. <laughs> Who's <laughs> over here? Fatties? Fatties. Yeah, yes. you can't hit those, unfortunately. And fatties are also at the other end of the train tracks. But do you Correct. know what the good news is, Shira? Really? They're These all moving fatties? towards us. Oh, they're, yeah, all, yeah. they're all fatties. Those are all fatties. Oh, all let me move the bang token over to you. Oh, oh so they're all moving towards you. They're all oh. moving towards you, Shira. Congratulations. Thank but they you. can't reach you. Um, I'm gonna search again because I have one action and I like staying in okay. the balcony. I'll grab a card for you and bring Thank it over you. to your table. Appreciate okay. that. You found yourself a knife. I'm gonna go ahead and take my turn with Molly. Molly is sitting over here and she wants now, to exchange some. Does she need to choose what weapon she's holding? I do. Yeah. Okay. Right, my suggestion and... would be you can carry a rifle in your yeah I'll like carry... favorite weapon slots so you can get this in your backpack and carry the knife yeah because i like this rifle better than the other one nice all right alex sure i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start with a search because nothing ever goes wrong when you search i got another knife there okay um, i'm gonna leave that out here for right now and then i'm going to go ahead and move to to close the distance one two so we can exchange stuff next round uh that's going to be my turn and i believe that is a wrap uh we basically win the game at this point right mm -hmm. <laughs> i just realized wasn't I the objective token supposed to move yes she that's just what said, i was yeah. going to say Correct. i realized i completely forgot to move this last round so now it's i'm moving be... it now and we'll move it very soon excellent so all zombies uh move now right yeah so I'll take care of this group. I'm taking all moving me. towards yeah. Shira, the person who is definitely her fault if we lose. Yes. Hey, they can't climb up. They're, They're... gonna have to go through the whole. No, climbing. no, we're not. We're not losing. We're not losing. I said if we lose. They're kind of large and verbalist. 
I appreciate mm. them. <laughs> it is a word you like. So uh, that's going to be there. And then from there, we go ahead and spawn new zombies. And so if, Alana, if you want to flip cars, I'll start. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. The good news Luke is showed up. at least now you can deal with him early. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What's that strange? means we flipped the spawn points active. <laughs> and we now have one, two, three, four, five active spawn points. What strength okay. weapon do you need for the abomination? Three. A level three, yeah. Does anyone happen to be carrying a level three? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're all in the blue. You might as well try the firing pan, though. It could surprise you. <laughs> I mean, hey, it worked for Tingled, so. Everyone's in blue, right? So no yes. one. Yes. Yes, Correct. second spawn point. Lucky draw. Two walkers on the temporary spawn point right here. Okay, I got another one. And now, four does, runners. This, does the spawn point that just activated because of the abomination not spawn until next turn, or does it spawn now? Right now. Okay, great. If the abomination, if we had gone through that spawn point before the abomination spawns, then yes. Yeah. But since it goes after, no. Okay, so one more card we need. And for the abomination spawn point, two more walkers. two walkers. That artwork's awesome, though. <laughs> Okay, and sure, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and move you up two experience points because you did not take it when you killed two zombies. Oh, that's thank true. Thank you. You're saying thank you now. You won't be saying that when I move you to yellow. Yellow. <laughs> You're going to be moving to yellow first. No, no, I'm going to balance this game very carefully. I never take reckless actions. Never. Okay, uh, that is going to be the situation. The turn train marker, there we go. Helena, yep, you got it. Yep, this goes here, and now it's... Uh, to first you, is Concepcion. Yes. Where are you going to move that cart now? I'm not going to move it. I'm going to stay <laughs> right there and <laughs> do everything inside. The Gatling gun has uh, range one three, and I roll three dice on a four plus. So. Nice. That's two hits. So two of them. Which horde were you aiming at? Ah, these guys on the left. She was just kind of firing in a direction. <laughs> in a direction. Not really aiming. I mean, that'd be that's a generous phrase. Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot one thing. I have to spend one action to get in the cart and shoot. Mm. So one action to oh no, conception. Okay. One action <laughs> and then I shot them and I'll shoot them again. And because I'm shooting twice in a row, I get an extra die. Nice. And all of them hits. Oh, or not. Awesome. Oh, so bad. Oh, that's okay. It jammed then, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm a nun, you know. I'm not trained <laughs> for this. Are you making the assumption that nuns aren't trained in Gatlin guns? It's, I'm pretty it's sure it's standard. Yeah, it's it's standard, standard uh, practice. Doctrine, yeah. Yeah, it's like Matthew seven nineteen or something like that. I underestimated uh, nuns. Apparently, you can't do that. You can't do that. So Jab still doesn't have a melee weapon, so he still cannot come in this building. So he will move here and shoot some zombies as well. <laughs> oh wait, I have to get ah. two action points to Concepcion. And Bang is moving down to the Gatling gun, correct? Yeah. Is it Bang or is it? It's Bang. Uh, it? Dynamite it's is Boom. Boom. Boom, Boom is for Dynamite. Yeah, Boom is oh. the Gatling gun. It's, really? It makes a loud noise. Have you ever fired one? Uh, no. Surprisingly not. I have not fired a Gatling gun. Sure, have you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Jeb, Jeb's turn, I believe. Oh, you're ready to Jeb. Yep. Uh, I'm going to shoot them with the Winchester again. <laughs> <laughs> On the four plus. You're ineffective. Oh, no. After the Gatling gun, this is so underwhelming. <laughs> ah, but this is where you're going to get both hits. Or not. Okay. Well, I mean. Are you going up your experience points for your... 
None. She I did. Okay. I did. And I can shoot once more. I can shoot these guys. There you go. I oh, can nice. both of them. There you go. I like it. Go team. <laughs> All right. Okay. Over to Carl. All right. Carl's going to just make a nice run for it. One. So, so don't let's your go, experience. Carl. Jazz, are you a thematic player? I am not a thematic player, oh but, I, 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 but I will say that I played um, an RPG for the first time this past summer. And, okay. and my DM was like, oh, do you do this quite often? I said, no, this is the first time I've ever done so it. I'm, I'm proud of you, but still, because Alex and Shira, I know from sheer experience of playing games with them, don't care about flavor text at all. But I'm sitting here like, like a Winchester pop zombie heads, like a watermelon, you know, it just, there's like, I'm visualizing everything. And I just know that both of them are sitting here thinking about strategy and mechanics and, uh, and not, not caring. I mean, the these story. zombies could be cues for all the difference it would make to my experience. <laughs> Listen, I'm just looking for an opportunity to use my machete. That's really it. Okay. So that's reasonable. Why, why not run, why not run into a building? So I guess that would take me three and I, I'll get this action, I guess, on my next turn. You moved three already, and then you act. So since you walked in here for the first time, we activate this. Yeah, let's bring it on. How many zones do we oh, have on, right hold now? Hold on, oh, I Six. forgot. Wait up. A oh, few. Maybe, maybe that might not be the best idea. Oh. Three, well, I don't know why you think that. Well, well, it depends. It depends. Helena, would you say it's a good idea or not? Well, we already activated the abomination spawn point, and it's the only one that we cannot control. So you think it's All a good other idea. ones, if we just avoid going the, that last building, that last building, we won't have seven at once. How do we gotcha. obtain holy water? Through searching, I guess. Uh, right? It's an item, just like a weapon. Okay. So you have to, to search wait for it. Till it. You have to wait till it comes up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that would be my turn because I think that's three moves. Okay. Uh. I want my turn, I guess. Trixie? Yes. Yep. Okay. Trixie's going to use her shotgun and shoot things. So uh, these runners over here are uh, a target of one. So you mean you can hit them with your range three weapon. Perfect. Um, it would be nice to get those pellets that those plenty of shells. Because um, I. If have... you hop down, you could theoretically take one from Jeb right now. Oh, that's right. Will it help me with my sh shotgun? So how jump? does that how does that work? Um, you may to... reroll all ranged attacks with weapons that have the shell symbol once. The new result takes the place of the previous one. So effectively, you're going to roll, and if you hit, then there's no reason to reroll. If you miss, you can reroll. Gotcha. It doesn't give me any extra dice, though. I want no more dice. No, no. All right, fine. So then I'm just going to try and hit with what I've got, and I'll worry about collecting that later. So I get one die, and I get hit on a three or more. Nope. That won't be it. Thanks. <laughs> I have one action. That will yes. be it. I'll hit one. Okay. I'll take your experience points. And that'll take and two. Move. Um, Helena, did you ever take experience points for Jeb when you got two kills there? Uh, I think she I did only for got the one. first You're one. right. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Okay. All right. And you you know you're in a room with zombies, right, Molly? Maybe. Yeah. No, no, no. Didn't I, didn't I, Jeb do three kills you total? Because he did two separate attacks. The first one yeah. killed one, and the second one killed two. Yes. It's a Killed the two fatties on that last okay, roll. So yeah. up one more. Cool. No, no, no. Wait. I only killed two zombies so far. Oh, no. That's right. You're right. Jeb killed three. Yep. 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 He doesn't okay. like to brag about it, though. Yeah, yeah. So it's my turn, I believe, right? It's going to yes, be uh, Molly's turn. Molly's going turn. to go first. Molly is not with zombies. Molly is certain. Molly's not stepping anything. There's does do we have it with Cassie? Cassie's gonna roll two dice and a four plus. We'll, Molly we'll doesn't Cassie care about us. the walkers and 
No, no, that, that's room. Cassie. That's Cassie. Oh, that's Cassie. Yeah, Molly's gonna head on over here, and Molly's gonna do an, a trade action to get a plenty of shells. Uh, oh, Jeb, cool. is there anything you want from me? I have an extra uh, knife if you want it. I have a gun, a little revolver. I mean, if you're not using that knife. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. How about it? Okay. I'm going with some some weapons here. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a situation there. And then we're going to go ahead and what am I doing here? I'm putting that there. This there. Okay. And that's action one and two. And then for action three, she has a range of th zero to one. That's not what I want at all. <laughs> so I guess we'll walk a step closer this way to, to shoot whatever comes up that way. Okay. Oh, that's going to be her turn. And then we're going to move to Cassie, who's totally not in the slightest bit worried about the zombies by her. We're going to roll these two dice over here. And, whoops, sorry, one second. Click. Nope, I'm doing this wrong. You're Why flipping. Can I not click, click. Why? Is it control click? There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll them. We have one and five. Okay. Now, here's the real question. I'm going to go ahead and attack again. Okay. And we have a... One. Yep, six and one. There's Another one's dead. One. I'm going to go up two experience points to go to four. We're still nice and leveled on our experience points. And with my third action, I will go ahead and search again because we need some holy water. Nope, That's not going to be water. a tomahawk. The tomahawk. That yeah. thing, I can just visualize that thing ripping people's heads off. Yep. I can. Yeah. It's just the way I'm seeing it, like just screeching it into the neck of a zombie as the head pops off. The nice thing. Spewing across the room. The nice thing about tomahawks is they also sanctify you at the same time. So... Exactly. Are you, are you trying to appease Jesse with flare attacks? No, no, no. It's just, it's, I just can't help but be pulled in. Just, yeah. <laughs> the oh, you didn't time. notice. You're you so didn't terrible. notice. You can equip the tomahawk and leave the plenty of shells yes. in your backpack. That yeah. does make sense. That is a tactically wise choice. Then again, you've lost every game you played, so maybe I shouldn't listen to you. That is true. <laughs> I have to say, I love this Fero child standing over a corpse pile with. She's just ready. <laughs> yep. One of just my favorite characters. Slaughtering from, zombie. Yeah, one of my favorite characters from Cthulhu Death May Die is a little fire burning book girl. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, I, the zombies friend. are just kind of leaning up and making a little bit of noise, and she's just like smashing their heads yeah. before they're even out of the bag. Yeah. I'm just hoping I find some holy water and kill this zone, and along the way, I will run if I need to, because I am all alone. Yeah, you chose that action. Although I can, I chose that over. action my whole life, Shira. You're not going to judge me for it now. I can watch over. <laughs> I'm watching over you. I thought you had it handled. I can shoot into your zone. Oh, that's right. You actually can. I'm protecting yeah. you. Don't worry. I got this. Yeah, because of your ability, you have lines that are not limited by room zones. Nice. I mean, Trixie's. Let's be honest. Trixie's protecting everyone. And the best part, <laughs> the best part, sure, is if you miss and you hit me, well, then that's a little <laughs> bit rewarding in its own way. Yes, that is very rewarding. Okay, zombies go ahead and move. So we're going to go ahead and move hey. some zombies. These are going to be two each. Oh, no. Oh, no, uh, yes. I will move these dice over here. Okay. Abomination is going to move one towards us. We're going to have some walkers moving over here. That's a, not a walker. That's an abomination zone. Okay. That's that. And I think that covers that covers what we got here. So what's, Time the, for spawning. what's the next bounty challenge? Gain three AP or more by killing zombies at a range of two or more in a single turn. Now, what does that mean, gain three AP? Three action points. Right but how here. do you gain action points by killing zombies? Uh, each one gives you one, except the abomination that gives you five. Oh, action points. Those are experience points. Your experience yeah. points. They're so, called AP? So yep. did did Jeb technically complete that when he killed three total? He didn't kill three I total in the same round. I don't think it was on a range of two plus. And it wasn't a single turn. Mm -hmm. I think or it, no, it was it was single... it was a single turn. But I think yeah, it was a single turn, one. but it was range one. Jeb Jeb shot two abominations here and one abomination here. Or not abomination, one one. But fatty. this is a single zone. Uh, oh, I yeah. see what you're saying. It's okay. Sure, is going to have a whole bunch of zombies. Yeah, sure, we'll be able to do. She's it. probably going to get that. <laughs> no pressure, Shira. Okay, Did we accomplished the first one. Yeah, with uh, by by picking up an objective. Yeah, and we're about so, to get we're about to get another one. So, Helena, mm -hmm. if you'd like to uh, flip some cars, I'll start spawning some zombies. 
No, I thought, that, okay. I thought that the um, bounty thing was different when we were. So uh, Alex already picked up one weapon because he took uh, the X oh, token gotcha. from us. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, no. Abomination. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey. Oh, no. Mm, that is bad. Okay. And now he's in your zone, correct? Four walkers? Yeah. Four walkers? Okay. At this point, they seem gentle. Four fatties. four fatties. Okay, that's not gentle at all, sir. Uh, now, well, now you definitely have a strength two weapon, right? Because I do. I have the machete. Okay, because if oh. you didn't, I mean, even if, even if you do, you're in trouble. It's four of them. Yeah. Well, they're not going to be headed towards him. They're going to be headed out the door, wouldn't they? Oh, that's a good point. We can do that. Oh, abomination no. strikes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, so who's who are we killing? Jeb? Or oh, straight up killing Sarah? or damage? It's a damage. Okay. I was like, is the game over? Uh, it might uh, be. No, no. Well, it's very <laughs> no, close no. to over. Guys, I don't want to scare you, but I see dead people. Uh, <laughs> What's okay, different? I like Jeb less. So <laughs> Jeb is getting the. <laughs> Let's let's be honest. Um, we all feel the same. Oh no one, no one for this spawn point. Poor Cassie waited for nothing. Wait, That's terrible. Oh, that was the abomination, right? That's uh, this yeah, but spawn point right here was the abomination, and this one is no one. So now it's for the abomination spawn points. No one. No one. Okay. Ooh. Okay, and now this blue token here moves one tile to the right. Okay. And once that train appears, we have three turns to uh, get yes. out that door. We so, uh, need to... If we can keep the abomination in the line of train... He it will, will get smushed. It. Yeah. Because we don't have any range three. Dynamite. We don't have any weapons that will kill that abomination right now. So maybe yeah. run or walk. Oh, and now that boom becomes a bang because one turn has passed. Yes, if we manage to not die next turn, the abomination will get killed by the train. Cool. <laughs> okay, and who starts off this one? Turn or um, order passes. Jeb. Oh, poor thing, Jeb. Okay, so what is Jeb doing? running away no he cannot <laughs> if you're in a zone containing right. zombies it takes one extra action for each zombie in the zone with you oh, escape. so mm. i would need four actions just to move one so jeb's <sighs> gonna die next turn because the abomination is still there no i think concepcion can save him with vajihetra okay you can freeze them mm-hmm Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. She can use her ability to make sure that they uh, they don't take an action. That's one boss nun, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Jeff. Jeff has a special ability called point blank, which means I can use ranged weapons <laughs> in the same tile, in the same zone. He is. So maybe I can try to kill those runners and get like less damage next turn. I guess that's. I mean, I can shoot down on the runners too. Yeah. True. But honestly, it's the only thing I can do. Go for it. I can't run away. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of good options. Yeah, I'll just take that Winchester then. And uh, I'll roll these two. Did I okay. get both of them? Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh, it's not two, it's three. Uh, I guess I'm doing that again. One more. One more. And last time. And another one. Got them all. And that's it for 
Jeb's turn. And you'll go up to six down here. True. Okay. Nice. All right. So I'll pull this objective out. That oh, one. my God. Poor Carl. So that would uh, allow I'll me draw to... that card for oh, you. Thank you. And you're getting a Colt uh, bunt line. All right. So it's got a uh, range up to three. Roll on a die, plus four. All right. Let's place that in place of the Remington. The next bounty is kill an abomination with your last action. Oh, I noticed it and I was not happy about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now... Going into the room using my machete, um, they're still going to be running out towards the bang, correct? Oh, you you got the, the objective, right? Yes, I you did. Get five five AP. experience. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's do. I run in and start mashing some uh, fatties, or do I search? Reasonable question. It is a reasonable question because they're going to still be running out towards that bang, correct? Yeah, they're not interested in you at the moment. All right, so let's move in for my second action and let's just try and take one down. All right, so we're rolling on the machete. I need a three or greater. Oh, I see that die coming towards my way. Thank you. Are you sure you want to do that? Now, what would be the reason why I shouldn't? Give me some, give me some pointers. Um, death, destruction. Yes. Well, <laughs> if you're wondering, so I, I could reframe it as death <laughs> and destruction. You can only take down one, and three of them will attack oh, yeah. you in their face. Right. Yes, yeah, so let's. All right, let's stay back. Let's search. Let's see if we can get some holy water. Because I can only search once. All right, let's see what I have here. It is dynamite. Not ah, holy yes! water, but very useful. Oh, very, very yeah. useful. There we go. That is useful for the abomination. There we go. Yeah. All right, so that's my second action, and I'm not going to have enough to move out. So there we go, and I can't search again. So Someone I'll pass needs the turn. to go and save Carl. Now, are the abominations, are the fatties moving, prioritizing line of sight first or noise first? Line of sight first. Oh. Gotcha. So someone needs to move and save Carl, is what you're saying. Yeah. Cool. So despite the noise, the fatties are going to be moving in his direction. Um, well, in theory, if somebody moves here and creates noise, then they would prioritize the line of sight and noise. And the noise. Yep. True. I so can jump don't... down. That oh, might yeah. be the right move. Yeah, and then because you can actually shoot in. I know. do have my um, show field that has a zero to one range. One dice hits four plus, but it's a two, so it would be effective on them. Yeah, yeah. nice. All right. And then all we need to do is make sure we don't draw an extra zombie ab uh, fatty abominations. Fatties get one extra activation. That would be problematic. It, <laughs> all right. I jumped down. Um, and now I'm aiming in here. OK. Oh, cool. There's dice here. There are. Hello, dice. One dead. Go up an experience point. I'll take care of that. Why don't you take care of the other rolling, and I'll Bump you up an experience. And a second one dead. A second one dead. You are on the cusp. You're at six experience. We can probably make it one more round in blue before things have to escalate. Yeah. Um... And we move a bank token there. Boom, yes. boom, boom. And now Carl is safe. <laughs> nice. Safe is a relative term, <laughs> from what I understand. Yeah. Someone, someone now needs to save Trixie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Trixie. You did that. Molly's over there. Molly can afford to go up one point of damage. Um, I think uh, Molly's going to go ahead and take out one of these walkers over here. They seem to be problematic. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and roll. I don't want to escalate if you yell. I don't think it's worth it just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and use my old timer weapon over there. Wait, are you making noise? Uh, ooh, that's a fair oh, point. I if you make noise, it. you can't make noise because I need to keep the noise you with me. You and your strategic choices. So I'm going to go one. Oh, I can't actually do that because the violation no. is my zone. You know what? If if there are two survivors within line of sight, we choose which way they go, the fatties go. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, fine. So I will go ahead and make noise. 
which is something I've been doing my whole life. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll one die on a, five, on a four plus using my Colt SSA because I don't want to uh, risk killing two of them. So action one, boom, one That'll dead work. zombie. Okay. And that puts me at max uh, health over there. Max experience, I mean. So we're going to go to six. And I'm you're trying you're here. trying to balance when you go into the next level. Like collectively Correct. as a group, you don't want to cycle into the next ex- escalation before everyone's Absolutely. ready to go into there. Now you're stopping the abomination from activating, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I then yeah. I'll spend my second action to walk in here. Okay. Uh, okay. That's going to be my turn over there. And then we have Mad Little Girl, who's kind of upset that there's no zombies <laughs> to kill. Search. Uh, she's going to start with the search because maybe that will uh, get me some holy water. Okay. We're going to go ahead and nope, mm. not holy water, but we I are making our way. Say. Yeah, we, we only got 40 cards left in this deck. That's not a lot of time. Uh, I think I will finally start moving out. I'm going to go two or did I say two and then three. Starting to join the battle so I can slaughter some other things. Cool. And that is, I believe, nope, Conception has a turn, right? Yep. There we go. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She better have a turn, otherwise, a lot of people are dead. <laughs> yeah. The first thing she cast her spell on the abomination. And then is there something I can shoot? Oh yeah, there's there are some more wa- some walkers there, right? Yeah. Do you have anything range yeah. too? I have the Gatling then. Oh mm-hmm. your, your, your weapon of choice. I see why you moved it to the center tile. Yeah, you know, there are there is no limit to how many survivors can be in the carts shooting the Gatling gun. You can all just join the Hop on. Pile on. <laughs> okay. So I killed two, right? Yep. Yes. And, I, and I can... There's one more. There is one more. And I will try again. Try to kill the last one with the mm. extra time. Seems possible. There you yes. go. So, cool. How many zombies do we actually have out right now? Just the two fatties in here? Two, two small two ones up here as well. And two walkers oh, up here, right. right? Okay. And the abominations. We've got five. All right. Let it rain. Let it snow. Let it snow. Well, this is the last turn before the train comes. Now, did Concepcion get her uh, AP on that turn? Oh, that's right. Should be three, right? Yep. Yep, so right on the edge as well. We're on the edge. We need to be getting. We need more bounty weapons, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get one of them potentially with a dynamite. Potentially, I say, because the train might take it out, depending on how. We need to start to move fast because we have two objectives to take. Well, once that uh, abomination is out, we can get to some other objectives pretty quickly. It's the we need we need holy water. That's the problem. Yeah. Can I jump over the abomination? Yeah. Like if I can jump over here and then get these. I mean. Yeah, you can. Well, right. let's spawn and see what happens. Yeah, let's just see <laughs> just exactly what's in <laughs> yeah, your exactly. Mind. Okay, let's draw some cards. But if you do that, you activate a seventh spawn point and we lose. Right. Oh no! Not if you go well, in the mine. That's not, not in the mine, right? The mine yeah. one's already activated. Mine. Yeah. Oh, we need to spawn, right? No, do we really have to? Okay. Wait, what happened? We don't. We can cheat. Okay, so we got two fatties. More two fatties. fatties. So far, they haven't been a problem. Two runners. Two runners. A runner. Okay, they might be a little bit of an issue. Four, Four walkers. walkers. Some oh, walkers wonderful. popping out. Oh wow, that's got that. That's going to be a, a situation uh, over there. Yeah, just a little bit. More runners. Two runners. More runners. Yay. There's one more, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's this zone. One at the end of the train track. Four fatties. Ah. And then have we done the abomination zone yet? Not yet. Yeah. More walkers. And more walkers. Uh, sure, I have one question. Yeah. Mm. Whose fault is it? Helena. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why? I think just... I think we agreed it's your fault. That was oh, yeah. that was clear. The terms and conditions have been signed. It's too late now. And I believe we're starting off with speaking of terms and conditions and whatever. It is actually not your turn yet, but it is almost your turn. Oh god. My turn will bring the train. All right, Trixie. Are you are you cut are you gonna be shooting in? Because my <laughs> my thing. <laughs> All right, because I, I think I could potentially take down two of these fatties, and I can help you out. You can help me out. Yeah. All right, so let's. I was gonna try and jump over this you whole mess and right. go get that red token. Gotcha. You should. Cassidy right. can take this, and if I'm wrong, well, it's not me dying. So. All right, so let's move on in, <laughs> and let's start rolling some dice. Oh, do you want to charge? Oh, I'm... what does what does the charge allow me to do again? It saves you an you action. You can move you're not... and oh, yes. perform a melee attack in a single action. Correct. Nice. Let's charge. Nice. All right. So I get the first roll. Oh, and your ability, your blue oh. ability is plus one damage to melee. Plus, so it's plus one. So it's a three, which that, would give well, you. That roll doesn't really count. Anyway. Oh. You know. All right. Yeah. So let's roll it again. Well, yeah, let's roll. I mean, we have to roll. Yeah. All right. There, there we go. go. It's a win-win anyway, right? So let's take down one of these fatties. It was kind of, it was kind of, you know, it was kind of catty cornered. It, yeah, it, it was, was on the edge. It was destined to happen, right? All right Elena's so looking at me like, did Jesse just cheat? <laughs> no, I'm not playing. I can't cheat. All right, so that's the first first attack. There. Let's do the second. Good. All right, let's take another another fatty. So that's tech, that, that's that's technically my first one, correct? Because the first but one... more importantly, oh, that's yeah, two you have kills. One more. But, well, it's two kills which means you have an extra action. Nice. Oh, nice. so now you can attack twice because the first one is, was the charge. Correct. So yep. you still you have, two, have more actions. two actions, and now you have three. Uh, All right. You so know, that goes with the. So Good. What was that, Alex? I was going to say this whole saving you thing is a whole lot less satisfying if you actually kill them. <laughs> All right, so that's another one? Yep. All right, and then the last one. There we go. Yep, so two more should be removed. Okay, All right. you're at nine experience. Oh, wow. Nice. There goes there goes the balancing act that we were trying to save from ourselves from, right? But I think most sure. of us... Yeah, we were, we're going to be getting into that yellow. In. Anyways. All right, Trixie, let's see those jumping at acts. All right. How many spaces am I allowed to jump? Uh, you jump over one space. But aren't you saving Carl? No, I'm saving Carl. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, Carl will be all right. All right, I jump <laughs> over here. Why don't you, well, you know, she's jumping into the middle of a horde. I jumped. There's no zombies in here. No, there's none in there. <laughs> Yeah, that was one. And then yep. I move in here is two. I'm going to be honest. I don't see any zombies at all. Anywhere. I might see yeah. some zombies underneath me right now. That yeah. I should have dressed. That's a now, very bold move. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sure, we're over there. In terms of you have one action left right now. Um, you could shoot before moving into that zone. There's no if reason I to move. If I shoot, do I, I might also be able to power up and get another action. Uh, it's true, yeah. but I'm saying, but you can make that decision before moving into the zone and being yeah, stuck. Okay, all right. So, this is still one action. Yeah. What are these? Walkers. 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 Which is my most useful weapon? A three plus. It's still that same shotgun? shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So then it's one die. And That'll boom. work. One dead, right. you've now level up, which means you still have two actions left. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, I who's who's all these people in the abomination they are walkers. zone? So if I if I kill this one and then walk in here, then you're the, safe. The walkers are just gonna walk into me next turn. Unless, of course, we yeah. get an extra walker activation, which mm -hmm. of course will happen. It will happen. But <laughs> it's fine. Live on the edge. What are these guys, fatties? Yes. Ready. Yes. They'll be right. looking into me next turn. Also, all right. Let me kill this one. <laughs> roll again. No. Problem solved. You don't nope. kill it. Yep. No worries. But you could shoot again. You still want to actually. You still oh, want yeah. to be able to move. 
I'm only allowed to jump once a turn. Yeah. Okay. So does everyone agree I should just shoot one more time? Um, I, you have to. You have a two strength weapon, so you should be fine with the fatties. Okay. So I'll roll one more time. Boom. That'll work. Dead. Boom. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and move you up one, and we move to myself. So I am playing as Molly right now. Molly sees a whole bunch of people on the way, and Molly realizes that walking into the zone with the huh, this is tough because of the fact that I don't have any two damage weapons. Do I? No, you could I, you could hop into you, the Gatlin Molly? gun though. Yeah. Can you hop into the Gatlin gun does and it then take shoot? Your, does it take some of these oh, places? Yeah. Is there a limit? No. Nope. She said there's no limit. Oh, well, no in, that case, in that case, that's going to be the obvious move. One to hop wait, in there. Wait, let me just make... Wait. Oh, no. Oh. Wait. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. And boom. So we're both on the Gatling gun. One action to hop in, one action to fire. So I have a range of three, right? Yeah, you could hit... Anyone that's available right now. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take out these people so as to stop them from getting in Shira's way with this situation. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and roll uh, two. Wait, how many dice did I roll? You roll three, and then you level up on the next activation. Yeah. So I roll three dice, and I on a, on a what? Four plus. Four plus. Four plus. Okay. So Effective. we got one dead. And I'm going to do it again because I have one action left. You get one more dice. You get one more dice. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be necessary because that seems that seems unnecessary. Although I think what I might actually do, given that we're both there, is I'm going to redirect to this horde yeah, over here. because there's only one left in front of you. Correct. There's multiple here. And I'm going to get four hits oh, right now yeah. because of that. Oh, nope, no. Two hits, but you still better. You were almost Good. so cool. It would have been, been, <laughs> cool. been super cool. It would have been Almost so cool? <laughs> Just Almost so cool edge. is what I've been striving for my whole life. Okay, I got Almost nine so of nine of uh, uh, experience points, and then that I'm is my turn. The boom here. Yep, and now it goes to Trixie. I mean, uh, Case Cassie, Cassie. So Cassie is going to do a charge heading into the zone over here to attack some zombies. Uh, she's going to go ahead and use her most prolific in terms of dice weapon, which is going to be a pickaxe. So this can be two dice. And let's we'll say one second. Let's Two be honest, though. Here. Even if the even if the pickaxe wasn't the most prolific, Cassie would still use it. One hundred percent. That's gonna be one hit. We're gonna do it again. So that's action two. Okay. And we got two hits. So both of them are gone now at this point. Okay. Uh, somebody wants to take care of those. I'm gonna move up two experience points, pushing yeah. me at six, which means she sadly is not enough to uh, level up. Yeah. But while in the oh. zone, she's gonna go ahead and search because we still need some holy water to have a chance out of this. Okay, and what I just draw, I drew dynamite, which is not the worst thing to have. And then I dropped it somewhere off the edge of the table. What happened there? <laughs> I Where'd see it, go? it. It's right by the nun. It's by the nun over here. This yes. is okay, got it. Okay, perfect. So we have dynamite. That is useful. I have found worse things in my life. And that is Cassie's turn. I have a question. Sure. I used Vazihetro on our last turn, right? Yes. yes, correct. So I should have removed it, removed it before. Sorry. Does anyone with dynamite want to go kill the abomination? Well, at this point, if we just outlast it to the end of the turn, which should be fine. Can you guys, yeah. But you guys are there. Yeah, we get pushed out of the way of the train. The abomination dies. Which comes first, activations or the train? Um, the train. The train is the first the thing. Nice. Okay. Still, we have to survive this turn. I can just place it again. My token. Go for it. Yeah. Freeze the abomination in, pre in place so it, so it, so we ensure it's there for the train. And and what else should I do? Should I kill these two fatties? Try them yeah. and then try the one. Um, well, you have people well, on all ends. Won't the train yeah. kill them yeah, first? The train will take care of them. Very, so that you is might true. as well kill the fatty that's done here with Shira. Or, these or the runners. The runners. That's fair too. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, they can yeah. be a pain. <gasps> no hits? No hits? 
No. Nope. Nope. That was a one or two oh, and a three. That's sad. It's four plus, yeah. So, but I get to try once again. There you go. And there we go. Now they're both dead. Okay. You guys leave. So that's it for Concepcion. Let's see, Jeb. Oh, did you level? Did you level up into the yellow zone? I probably them? did. Yeah. So then you have another I killed action. Two, right? Yeah, you'll get another, so I get action. another action. So now you can kill the one down by me. I can kill the one. Yeah. And with five dice. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's why did I even bother? <laughs> yes, go Trixie, get that objective. <laughs> now right. for Jeb. Jeb doesn't have a lot he can do, right? Can I think he'll just kill dynamite so that when I, because these all guys in the room with the abomination are going to move into here next turn. Mm, but Carl has the dynamite and he's far away. Who else, who else has dynamite? Uh, Cassie, but, but we're in yeah, the same we're room. We're both together. I think I will use Jeb to kill these two just so he moves to the yellow. That's fair. Zone. Yeah. So using the Winchester to die. Guys. Nope. Oh no. Another swing though. There you go. Oh, there you go. Two down. And you're up to eight, so you are comfortably in the yellow zone. <laughs> so now you have one more action. You could you okay. could spend your action to hop onto the... Uh, does it take an action to hop off of the cart? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's my turn. Okay. Okay. So, All zombies right. phase, right? Yeah. The abomination stays in place and doesn't move due to body head through. I'm taking that back. The walkers move over here. These runners move two spaces, correct? True. Okay. And that's it. We're doing okay. Well, Shira is an expert. <laughs> well, she doesn't want to lose. She doesn't want the blame, you know. I have to now walk <laughs> into a room with four Exactly. <laughs> that's true. And that means that the token left and the train arrives. So the train destroys everything, including this spawn point. Nice. Which oh. means, sure, if you want, you could just head into the other room instead. I know, I just realized that. I can jump into the other room. You can jump straight into the balcony. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't help me get the objective. Uh, the objective is over here. Right. Yeah. Cool, cool. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's start uh, drawing car. Oh, do that first. Train yeah. dies. So now dies. Who gets the experience point? Anyone or no one? No one. Okay. And we all move here. Train, train, train. So okay. these are new zones. We can board the train and um, search inside it, and we move move with it when it moves. Jesse, can you just see the thematic? connection of us spending the whole game searching for holy water one of us crawls into the pit of the chain yep. to the backstory <laughs> I searches, was right there. pulls out a thing of holy uh -huh. water as the first item reaches praise we all cheer i i, I'm, I can't do this no no, no. i i 100 <laughs> agree before you, before you started talking i was already thinking how cool it would be if this train for some reason was shuttling a container of holy of water, holy water. <laughs> into the center of this uh, no, exactly. What you were for you, I'm walking me, straight to the train. What what you were making fun of me for is exactly where my mind was. <laughs> it's a good oh, story. Yeah. Oh, since the abomination died, this phone point is no longer active. Yes. Ooh, nice. nice. Yes. That might be my saving grace. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, uh, let's start flipping some cards. Yeah, now Trixie starts first player. No, we need to spawn some cards. You need to give oh. me some more zombies first. That is true. Sorry. Yeah, we're not playing on easy mode yet. Uh, okay, four <laughs> fatties. fatties. Again, not a problem. We've overestimated how effective fatties would be. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad we don't oh, have no. that, was, <laughs> that was quick. That was fast. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we flipped this back. Yep, I, I did it already. <laughs> you did. Where does she start? Abomination. Oh, no. No. no, no, this is good. This is good. Just moving one, not a big deal. Okay. Uh huh. Next one. Uh huh. Next one. I have to imagine this abomination is here specifically to fight the train. Four runners. <laughs> It's like revenge. He got hit well, by the train. He's like, I'm back. Well, it's like he's like running. I imagine the train is moving slowly forward and the abomination is now just barreling down the tracks towards this lumbering machine. There's just two mechanical beasts, one at, one fighting the other. Okay. True. And that's the last one, right? I'm ready for the cow plow to just like slosh him over. <laughs> Do we have what? This round and two full more rounds? Um, we have three yeah. rounds. Yeah. yeah. So the train's gonna the train's gonna move in. You need to get on it, and then the train's gonna leave. Yeah. Cool. Cool. We're not winning. You and whose <laughs> fault is that, Shira? You all have a variety of objectives you need to accomplish. So you have not pessimistic. You have not completed need... any singular objectives, and you still yeah. have you have still have two tokens you need to collect. Yep. We hey, can yeah. do this. But you know what the um, good news is? We have an abomination back on the board. Someone could use their bounty weapon to take the abomination. Yes, we could. Yeah, people with dynamite? Trixie's got some dynamite. She <laughs> can make this happen. <laughs> you move people. twice. You throw the dynamite. You get the bounty weapon. Oh, I know. Yep. I'm, I got this covered. All right. I'm going to... Oh, cool. I think it's my turn first. It is. It is. So I don't have dynamite. I think I'm going to try and collect... I can't open up another spawn. No, you could because this this front spawn zone where the train came in is cleared. So how many do we have active right now? One, One two, two three. three, four, five. Five. This would be the sixth one. So you're okay. All right. So if I jump onto the balcony, that's one, two, three, and pick it up. Yep. Yeah. That'll yeah. work. One. Walk down here. Two. Then this zone activates. Does someone want to yep. put a piece there? Three. And I'll bring this over for you. And you have found a heavy saber. Oh. Which is very respectable. And the next mission, gain 10 AP or more with a dynamite. Oh. It's a shame I don't have dynamite. Oh. So we want to let them all slosh into a single zone. Well, I have a dynamite, but 10 AP seems particularly Difficult. hard to achieve. Yeah, 10 AP. The, so, the abomination so gets you five. But... Here's the thing. The abomination, but, but these guys will move forward here, potentially. These walkers yeah. will move forward here, and these runners will all move forward here. So there's a chance. Oh, the runners, you're right. There's a chance that this zone here will be worth 10 AP if you can it just toss be. a dynamite into it. Well, so make where, sure not to kill any of them. Where's the abomination at? Abomination's right here. here. He's a gentleman and a scholar. You can tell well, it by his bowler hat. <laughs> well, if, <laughs> yeah. if either um, Cassie or I charge, right, we can charge towards the abomination, put us one space away. Could we throw the dynamite? But at that the would only That's be five, only five AP. AP. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I th okay. Jesse's five. right. This spot over here with next this round spot. is the spot. Gotcha. I missed that they were runners. I feel bad about myself now. Well... It's okay. I, I'm not saying you shouldn't feel bad about yourself. I'm just saying it's okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. What are we thinking? Okay. So let's go ahead. Who's turn is it? It's yours. It's mine. Oh, yep. oh, that's awkward. I'm leaving it in. Okay. Uh, um, this you should. Off the you board. Should absolutely should. So we have an abomination over here that is not currently a threat. We have a whole bunch of searching that really should need to be done. Because um, hmm. we can't kill the abomination with the Gatling gun, can we? No. Nope. 
to no, damage. Okay, so I think we're just going to go ahead and run some, some holy water because that still seems to be the right move at this point. Yeah. We'll get prepped for that zone over there next round. So I'm going to go one, two, and just go with a search action because I want some holy not water. As, not as exciting or thematic as oh. moving into the train. Yes, that's true. That's true. I would have done that. And if I had done that, it would have been you, holy water. It would have been holy water. Yeah, it would have been. Would've. But aren't you glad that I went to the other room seeing as I didn't get holy water? No, because it would have been holy water it would if have you been moved holy water. to the train. Uh, so that's her turn. Uh, Cass is going to go ahead. Uh, she needs to end up one zone away, which is totally fine. So she's going to go ahead and search in this zone. Wait, and... wait. Molly has four actions. Oh, that's right. Molly does have four actions. Uh, Molly is going to walk one... Hmm. Molly is going to take a pot shot at the runners along the way. Mm, okay. Okay. So she's going to so go before ahead. Before she moves there and searches, she yep. will shoot some zombies. Okay. She's three, rolling three dice with her red weapon. She's going to go ahead and go for a. Dun, 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 dun. They're both dead. Nice. Okay. Two runners dead. Just two very and clean headshots. Goes ahead and moves up two experience points. Thanks for the reminder because now we have two less runners to deal with. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to go ahead to Cassie's turn. Cassie is going to go ahead and she's going to go ahead and start with a search. Finding some holy water, I say. Nope, oh. not finding some holy water. We've got a Winchester. I'll figure out my reallocation of weapons in a second because I want to finish my turn there. And then she has a few actions. Uh, she can go... Hmm. These zombies over here seem unnecessarily unnecessary. And she needs to end over there. So she's going to go two, three. Uh, oh, one second. Oh, one zone. It's is, all one is zone. This is all. It's still all one zone. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The, the train. The train so separates train these spots, but for now but the train these. tracks okay. open up the zone. Yeah. So she's ending up over there. Uh, if there's anyone who wants anything from Cassie, as I pass through you, I had one extra action to give up there. Got ammo, a pile of weapons. A I tomahawk. still think it'll be the tomahawk because I. I'll have take the a tomahawk. Go ahead. Enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh wait, Molly shot some zombies, right? So the bank is. Here. Yes. Yeah. Jesse, you're not a character. What am I doing? <laughs> he, he was you, trying sir. to figure out how to give me the tomahawk. I'm like, I can't get it. Won't, <laughs> it won't drag to the camera on the side of the screen. Okay. Uh, we are prepped to go. So uh, it is now uh, Conception's but turn. Cassie's inventory is full, right? She has a dynamite. Yeah, but we're saving it for next time. Yeah, but I, I think this. I oh, you're saying have I have too to many? get rid of one still of get, that. Still get rid of the tomahawk. That's fine. No, get rid of the pan. No, oh, the pan. Really, you're gonna do that to us? No, I like the pan. <laughs> oh, okay. That pan builds you character. <laughs> my pickaxe is inherently better than the my pan, tomahawk, but listen, the pan. Listen, the pan. The pan is both a statement of defense and violence, but it is also a statement of the future that still might exist. The pan oh, means see. the pan means you hope for something Jesse, greater. Before you continue this uh, narrative, look at Cassie for a second. Yep. Do you think she's <laughs> ever cooking with that pan? Uh no. No, definitely okay. not. No, you're right. She eats she eats rats that she catches with her teeth raw. You know what is weird? Concepcion doesn't have a single weapon. I was either. just noticing that she has a very no empty weapon. Thing. No water. What kind I'm of now? I'm now imagining that Conception like. Conception was running the orphanage that Cassie escaped from. No. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> she just went straight for the Gatling gun and never left. <laughs> That's all she's done. It's been effective, <laughs> to be fair. It's been very effective. Well, she will spend one action to get out of the cart and then one more to move here and one more to board the train. And now she will search. And yeah. she will find holy water. Come oh. on. Nope. Dynamite. dynamite. More dynamite. She can even use regular water, guys. Yeah. <laughs> she just needs any sort of water. She's looking in the wrong container. It's the back compartment. The back container. Yep. The one with the coal. Digging yeah. deep in the coal. <laughs> yeah. Find one small pitiful jug of water. Oh, now it's with Jeb, it. right? Yes. Jeb. What is Jeb doing? I want a flaming bottle of moonshine or something. That could work too. Oh, I keep forgetting to do stuff. I forgot to add this cube. Okay. You get, you get like a, you get like a hillbilly miner that's just sucking on a bottle of clear stuff. He's like, I swear it's holy water. 
Jeb will try to find the holy water in the hole. So it's one, two, three. He has four actions, right? Yes. So now let's search. Uh, nope. Not quite. Not quite. Mm. Why am I he gets to this? search again, being a townsfolk, correct? Ooh, no, because I already used no. my four actions. Oh, uh, that was the four. What is our plan for getting this red objective? Well, all of them are going to be They're dead all, yeah. next turn. Yep. You're including all the ones that are going to spawn? I'm not. Nope. But they okay. won't be in that spot. You hope. Mm, and the abomination is going to die, so the abomination spawn point is going to flip back. Mm. Deactivate. Until we get the abomination card again. Which shouldn't take long. <laughs> exactly. Considering. Well, Carl might be able to take out the abomination this round. He's got dynamite. Yeah. He's that means less activation is there. Me too. All right. My uh so that was Jeb's turn, correct? All right. Sure. So let's so let's have four, one, two, and that you can it has a range of one on the dynamite. Because we have two turns, right? We have two yes. turns. turns left. Two full turns after this. Okay. Right. Which basically means we got this. And if we don't, whose fault is it? It's mm. that, Je Jesse, Jesse, that's the title of this video. <laughs> whose fault, who's, is, who's who's fault, fault is, is it? Whose fault is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's search for one because I have four actions. All right. So let's search. And we're going to flip. And there goes another machete, which I really don't need. Uh, but we have Whoa. established... You you like I machete. love like, machetes. Yeah, it's true. Right? You can so. use them as dual weapons. Oh, yes, that's they have cool. the dual weapon symbol. Ah. To be fair, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. So, we'll... what does that mean? A dual weapon symbol. So, when you have dual weapons, you'll be able to do one. You'll basically basically combine the die part of it. So you're rolling two dice and a three and a two, with one action. I like that. I like that he left the frying pan equipped and unequipped the uh, the special. That's about gun. right. Yeah. Where did that Where did that special just go for some reason? It uh, disappeared to your hand, or someone's hand. Did I Did I draw it? Nope. Now nah, I'm not sure it went. It's magically it's, gone. It's up here. I found it. I and it. all right. Carl is a brawler, so he can remove the pan and put one of the machetes here uh, because gotcha. he can hold any melee weapon here. I mean, if you're attached to the pan like Cassie oh, is, no. you can keep yes. it. <laughs> he, yes. he, he doesn't need it right now, so let's... Okay. let's uh... It's a promise of the future that is yet to come. <laughs> now, the dynamite I can use from the from my backpack, backpack right? Alright, so that's my one. We'll go two, three, and we'll use the dynamite on my fourth action for the abomination. Right? Is that what we did? Oh. That's what we discussed? I thought the train was taking out the abomination. Ah, you're right. So let's move then one. Two. But but if you take out the abomination, you're going to deactivate the spawn zone beforehand. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Because we have two other people that have dynamite, correct? Yes. All yes. right. Yeah. So let's do that. And then we'll use the dynamite. Boom. So it blows up everything in the zone, which is just the bottom. Correct. Issue. Yes. Yes. And you yeah. get five experience points as a result. Yes. Probably a bad idea to use dynamite on the train tracks that you need to escape, but you know, <laughs> we'll fudge those numbers. <laughs> all right. We're, so we're lucky the abomination caught it and just sloshed it, about. Yeah, he just he takes all the he takes all the damage there. Okay. All right, so there goes my turn. That's a wrap. Yeah. Okay, right. so now the zombies move. These guys over here. Basically, oh, be oh. everyone over there. It's a party. It's a party. If we draw an extra activation card, I'm going to have a hissy fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. On camera, recorded, oh, I will have a hissy fit. <laughs> now I want an act. <laughs> now you want, you want to see the hissy and fit. And this is I why it's her fault. And this is why it's her fault. <laughs> I want to see the hissy fit. Um, on my screen, I'm watching you. All right. Okay, I'll just you edit it out. It's all good. Let's draw. Let's draw. Okay. okay four we runners. Got four. Four runners over here. Not a problem at all. Not scary yet because they can't even stand up still. <laughs> They're okay. gaining their feet. 
They're toddlers. And go ahead. Let's see this terrifying thing. Nope. Some walkers. Six walkers. We're running out of walkers. No, walkers we got plenty. Runners we're running out of. Oh. Okay. That's right. You're right. Okay. Okay. We got the last one. Abomination. Oh. That's totally cool. It's all good. No, no, I can work with abomination. This flips back, unfortunately. Abominations do not stay dead in this game. I see why you don't no. like them. No. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Hey, who's here? Oh, That's no. me. Not a problem at all. Why did you why did someone add seven walkers to this zone? Lack of teamwork. Yeah, lack okay. of teamwork. Well, I don't okay. appreciate extra zombies when well, it's gonna be my fault that we die. We <laughs> got four runners. Uh, we are <laughs> definitely running alone runners now. Okay. Okay. We got one more it? card. One more. Yeah. Did you guys skip this activation zone? And we're good. I... No, no, we did. What do you mean? Walkers. Zone? What? Oh, she's oh, right. We no, skipped this activation zone. We skipped one so, that. So these okay. six should be there. No, we'll oh, just right. draw another card. Just draw another card. It's well, easier. it changes where the abomination is. Yeah, it changes where the abomination's at. Yeah. Um, I don't like it, but I'll double look. <laughs> which is important because you're where you the mean, abomination is. You want is. to no, cheat, are, no, Alex? Like no, it's just, it's just randomized cards. Okay. Okay. Wait. Thank you. No, someone, someone's drawing from the wrong zone. Here we go. That's there. Okay. Yep. Perfect. And oh, we yeah. have one more card now. Oh, wait, no, the way, those people we have is four walkers. The... Okay, so we need one more card. Yep, one more. Okay. And abomination, abomination. And we can deal Extra with that. Where's, we can deal yeah, with that. Where is he? With that. Oh, he's over right here. here. Okay, perfect. He's still lumbering towards the train. He doesn't learn. He does not yeah. learn. He's about to die, too. I like it. Okay, so Shira gets denied her hissy fit, which is good for me because I do. I, I always want to be respectable on camera. And now I believe we start off the next round. But first, I believe we flip the train, killing the abomination. Yes. Oh. And the spawn point. Is this... Jazz, do you want to describe how it happens? How do I describe how it happens? Exactly. That's how. Good job. Ah, so. Okay. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as good, but as you. But I will. I will do my best. The train what, 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 slowly lumbers what, what, towards the station. The mountains of coal <laughs> emerging from the spout. The nun desperately grabbed for the water, desperately searching through the piles of coal, attempting to find something to slowly make their way alive. The this survivors to the turn, west. Right? Second no. last. No. But doesn't the train leave next turn? Yeah, no, it's gonna start. It's gonna start heading off. But we still. This is gonna shift back and flip. You have the caboose. Yeah. Uh, it's a slowly moving kind of shifting thingy. Okay. Uh, and with that, I believe we have Molly taking her first turn, and Molly wants to kill people. Yes. Let's be honest, Molly wanted to kill people the entire time. That's fair. Now <laughs> she just has an opportunity to, and she's going to with her coach gun. And Molly's going to go ahead and roll three dice. Okay, one, two, three, and attack the zombies in her zone. And we got Ooh, three wow. deaths. Ooh. Okay, oh, that's wow, three Molly. walkers back in the supply, because we'll need those. One two three and okay great awesome that's one and then i believe i'm gonna go ahead and attack again because i see no reason not to yeah and we're gonna go ahead and roll again that was not a roll but it's still enough to kill it so boom you'll count it all right well no because i rolled one instead of all three all but right, i don't I need all three saying. okay i'll do it again i'll do it again okay i would never want to be accused of cheating sure. this game. roll roll all three roll all three. okay let's, let's give it a so, fair shake Let's give it a fair shake. Let's roll I'm waiting. Let's I really, <laughs> I really want one, one, one now. No, nope. I only do that in other playthroughs. Ah, <laughs> okay. Ah. There we go. So that's dead. And that I have two actions left. I am going to search because I would really like some holy water. You might want to make oh, a time. move. You might want to make a move towards that train. You have to board it to win the game. Yeah, but that I have a true. full. I have a full other turn. We got this. We got this. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh wait, sure. one second. These are people who run. These yes, it is. Run. they are. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna undo that draw. Oh, there. Okay, yeah. and you're gonna it in. potentially listen to Shira. You potentially listen to Shira, but oh, you can edit. Wow. You can no, no. You can edit out the part where Shira made a suggestion, so it doesn't look like. I'm <laughs> oh, I, to Shira. yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's yeah. definitely gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I move over there. That's her turn, and now we move to Cassie. Cassie is about to have a moment here. Yes. Cassie's going to go ahead and discard Reach her dynamite deep into her. Backpack. I'm just I'm just gonna slow zoom on TTS into this crowd of zombies. Where is little, the, the little CGI. Cassie standing there right next to them? I want the CGI here because we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff happening here. 
Boom. You know, she's actually holding a dynamite. Indeed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, nice. twelve death. And that's going to be a bounty weapon for yeah. Cassie. She's going to flip it. It's going to be a cool weapon. We'll figure out the positioning later. She's also going to go up 12 points, which means she goes from 6 to 18, which means she still has three actions left. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, my vote is she like threw the dynamite into the center and one of the chonky boys just had a bag that was holstered onto him or something with more dynamite and bullets and other ammo in it. So it just question. starts this spray of arsenal. We need it's, like a, it's like a firework show, except it's old Western times and the fireworks are blood okay. and guts. So I think I here's the problem we have. Okay, we that bounty weapon, bounty weapon, that bounty weapon looks achievable, which means I think yeah. we should focus on getting it instead of using our objective. Yeah, we so need okay. both. We have only no. we have one, two. I only see four bounty. No, weapons. no, no, no. We, we already have. There's, I think it's an extra bounty weapon there because we have four. Yeah, you have to get, you so have to get six. six. You have six, six, means, six have which four. means this one is a guaranteed one, and this one looks achievable. So we should try to knock so it out. With my three remaining actions, I'm going to go over here. This one says, "Kill two zombies in a zone with another survivor in a single turn." And then I'm walking one over here. I have two actions left. I'm going to charge. Actually, I don't even need to because I have, um, I have a plus one to my charge. So I'm going to go all the way into here with a single action. Yep. And attack oh. and attack at the same time. And she is going to attack. I just want to kill four of those zombies effectively. Is that so, in the same zone? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. They're not the same zone. I don't, I'm don't. i going to keep two of them alive. Oh, because someone you else want... to come kill me. That makes kill sense. Them. Yeah. Okay. So or Cassie's kill you. Ki or kill me. Exactly. We're going to go well, ahead and use. Well, keep in mind that those mm -hmm. runners are getting to you. Uh, that is fine. He says not, it's not confidently. Fine. No, it's not fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my Henry repeater to kill the runners then. Rolling three dice on a four plus. Nice. Okay. So that's going to be action one is going to be, well, action two, technically. Oh, Boom. There okay. you go. Slaughter three of them. Okay. And then I will go ahead and take out some zombies in my zone. With I actually wait. have two. You go ahead. Wait, wait. You charged. Right? So I'll do so, my melee action. Yeah, do your melee I, action. Okay. First. Okay. So I'm gonna do my melee action in the zone I I'm in. That's gonna be on a four plus, I believe. And we got take out two as well. Okay. And I still have one action left. With a giant repeater, because Cassie is like smaller, she's like fire firing outside of the door, but each fire ta she takes like two stumbling steps backwards. So it's just like pop pop. Now, Shira, Trixie, you have a melee weapon. You have two melee weapons. Interesting. So you could deal with the ones in the zone. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the runner with my last attack. Yes, that's what I was going to suggest. Okay, perfect. Some full of the best suggestions. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I take out nothing. I managed nope. to miss on all three. Not a single wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. You do wait, have wait. your ammo. Plenty of bullets. Plenty of bullets. Plenty of bullets. Awesome. That horrific roll is saved. We're going to go plenty of bullets to roll again. You're getting at least one four. There you go. One five. And that guy's dead. Okay. And now that is going to be her turn. I'm going to go ahead and take that four experience I just got. I also get a free, one second, I may get a free ability here. So I have plus one free move action or plus one to dice will charge. I'm going to take the plus three move action, but it's not going to do anything else. You don't want to leave that spot. Stay there. Exactly. And that's my turn. Shira, or not Shira. Uh, not me. You. Conception. 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 Oh, goodness. Put this one here. Ah, okay, so she's on the train. Someone needs to go pick up that other objective because I'm going to be killing people in this zone. Yeah, but we do have yeah. a full of the turn, so it's not essential. But if it happens, it happens. If not, not. And we need to we need to kill these people before we pick up the objective, so no one can pick that up till next turn. Uh -huh. I don't right. think anyone can. Oh, Jeb can. Oh, wait, one we... second. Someone needs to have... end there. What? Someone needs to stop up here so they can grab it and then run onto the train. Yes, and then next yeah. time we run onto the train. So someone planned that. I could yeah. get, I, I'm four away, so it's Jeb is three away, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that that's fine. I just think that Concepcion has really nothing else to do, right? We should get on the train and find a holy water that we've been looking for the whole time. Why don't always you look to that home? back caboose there. She needs to move one. Don't search where you are. Move one, then search. Okay. No, oh, yeah. Kill the kill the guys behind you. What guys oh. behind you? I don't no. think I can. They're ranged three. No, they're just gonna rock one. We we can ignore them. We can literally ignore them. Not sure. These are rocking at extra activation. That'd be bad. Did you make noise? Okay, I, Alex? I found a saber. Um, I did make noise. That's a good call. Oh yeah. You did. Alex, these uh, down here, these down here are runners as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. But they're the only four runners on the board. Sure. Uh, she searched once. She can leave the train and try to, try to take out some of those guys, but I'm not sure that's worth it. Is the train protective in any manner? No, not really. It works just like a building. The zombies can walk in. All right. Yeah, Concepcion is, is staying. She's leaving with the train. She's done. She why don't shut you down put, a bunch Why don't you of zombies. put your token in the zone with the runners? I can't. I can't. You think I can? Can you? It's got to be a space It's in line of sight. Oh. Yeah, I can. Nice. I can. So just freeze them in place. Yep. Cool. Okay. So let's head over to Jeb. Jeb will try to get that last objective. So one, two, three, and he, he searches. He shouldn't pick it up of... yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He won't. Maybe that's where the holy water's been. Nope. More tomahawks. Um... And that's it for my turn. Okay. So what is there for Carl to do other than search for holy water, probably? There's not much, is there? Really? Just check the back of the train. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go one, two. Let's go in here. Okay. Let's search. Twin barrel. Twin barrel. And then... There's nothing really else to do. And I could pretty much stay there or should I move out? What do you guys think? I'm just looking forward to when we flip the next card and it says move four spaces in a single turn to get this weapon. So, <laughs> that's something really easy. All right. So I'll, I will stay there. Okay. Okay. All right, now Trixie, what we've set up for. It seems like tossing dynamite into All a pack right. of like twelve zombies really clears the board quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> I move one. And also have the having all three abominations embarrassed by the train. Not a bad strategy. That, it, it was. It's been amusing to me to have the zombies crushed the, and just like walking up again. They're persistent. They're like I'm bad and I'm gone. <laughs> if I use um, my heavy saber, yes, I don't. Yep kill you you right? do not melee weapons do not uh, hurt me and you're also going to roll an extra die because of the knife but i don't have oh. it in my hand um i don't think you need to actually you might you might no you to. have to yeah you have to have it equipped which would take an action an right? action yeah so it's better to just go ahead and just uh keep it the way it is then but it okay so actually i don't I know if it is uh, you have four actions so in theory uh, spending move... a single swap is more efficient i hmm. used one to, to get move. in. Oh, one to move. So three yeah. actions. Oh, then it's, then it's the same. Then it's either yeah. two then times two, equal. three times two. Yeah. Okay. See, that just to see is like thematic connections. And I'm like, I math. thought my accounting was boring. I'd rather play a board game. All right. Let's see. For the record, I also thought That's your one. accounting was boring. But just to get that <laughs> thing, I need, to, I need to kill two. One right? more. Correct. That's one it. One more. You can do it, Trixie. Boom. One that would be yes. really bad if you didn't, by the way. Okay. We are good there. And you have one more attack action, right? I do. Mm, wait, she does? Yeah. Yeah, I only rolled yeah. twice. Oh, three times once. two. Three times two. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I gave you the worst of both. I just said two times two and called it a day. Um, <laughs> okay. I will roll. Well, let's see what you get. It might be cool. 
You it got is cool. Ooh, it is cool. It is ooh. very cool. Manicious wrath. And when you pick up a weapon, you can automatically rearrange everything. Right. Yeah. So you can get so, the malicious wrath plus the knife. Um, oh, did yeah, you get your your action points? I didn't. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't help me. The this malicious wrath thing doesn't. It doesn't have the red symbol on it oh you don't need to that but your dual wield is different than the knife helping another weapon yeah the knife just has a standard ability okay so what should i equip in the most efficient that, world that these, knife and the, that um yeah. malicious wrath because that and would you give should... you four total dice hitting on a three plus thank you for arranging my cards i know ah, tts is a mess Yes. I always find I always find the best TTS games are where everyone's collectively working together, balancing the puzzle of the software. And right. Two more hits. We are safe. No more wounds. The board is clear. Nothing bad can happen to us the rest of the game. So Nothing at all. All right, that's the end of my turn. You get two more experience, which I'll give you right I, now. I feel like this is where Simon sends me a secondary email going. By the way, we've ramped up the challenge just a little bit. We have another gameplay we want you to do. <laughs> okay. okay, so do we have any cards. zombies? Are we we have some right here. Oh yeah. These aren't moving. Nice. These are and these guys are just gently lumbering forward, probably stopping for a you know a tea time or something. And these guys lose their activation. Yep. Okay. Perfect. That seems nice and clean. Okay. Let's go ahead and spawn some cards. Abomination, he's back. What? How does this keep happening? <laughs> you you design the deck here. There's That's a true. lot of those cards. I'm marked. Where is the abomination? We killed oh, him. No, no, where's where the goes. actual token? Oh, does it go on the first yeah. first spawn? Yes, the first one. All right. Okay. Now temporary spawn zone. Abomination. Uh, gets an extra activation. Oh, that is one thing. It's is not the best. Not? No, it doesn't nope. move there. It moves towards us. We made noise. Yes. Oh, okay, that's reasonable. It's in yeah. line of sight. Okay. Better hope that's there's actually not better. another abomination activation. No, they'll just take a wound. It's not a bad, not a big deal. Well, but okay. how are we going to kill it? We won't. We'll just run away. It takes okay. an extra extra just, activation. We still have enough. We still have enough. All runners. Like, so one, two, three, four. Okay, all runners get an extra activation. No, but they don't. No, they can't. Oh, does the token come off right away? Yep. Oh, the Vey token comes off. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay, that was spawn point number three over here, and then we're doing spawn point number four, which is a uh, four. Are we at eight, four or eight, eight? fatties. Are we at eight? It's eight eight fatties. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're at eight. Okay, so I, eight fatties over here. Someone's gonna have to help me here because that's gonna take a long time okay. otherwise. Three. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right. That seems like a decent amount of fatties. Like a long fatties <laughs> Wait, guys. did you count? No, no, that's we... correct, actually. Okay, and Eight. we have one activation left. That's the zombie abomination zone. Yep. Last card. What is it going to be? Last card. Runners. Eight, Eight runners. runners. One, two, three, Oh, no, four. Jeb. No, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're not going to activate good, now. Okay. This is it. I think we got this. I think just math <laughs> means we got this. The only un unknown is this zone over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but someone can just jump on the cart and go shoot. Yeah. Shoot. The train is moving forward, right? Yes. Does does right the now. nun leave the board? Yes, she does. This is what happens. She oh. leaves. Because she's and... on the oh, front nice. of the train. Yeah. Interesting. So she, so she made it to safety. She now, had we more. all made it onto the train earlier, does the game end earlier? Or is it eight rounds no matter what? No, no. To... Yeah, no, it would have been were on the first half of the train, we would have gone. Would have ended. Away cool. already. But we needed the objectives. Okay, yeah. cool. Yes. So now the train's running off. Uh, I believe I go first. Um, uh, what's called? Cassie goes first. She's going to go do, one. Do these runners die because the train moved in no, the middle not tile? No. Nope. Oh, that's an interesting question. I don't think so. No. Okay. Like the train was taking the tracks. the trains, yeah. The train's not plowing. The train was already there, the and it one, separated two. the tracks. That makes sense. Yeah. 
So Cassie's going to go one, two, three, and four, and onto the train. In. And that's Cassie's very boring but efficient turn. Conception. <laughs> we all need skipped. to do that. Basically. Well, it's going to be a little tricky because she's going to have some actions here, which is tricky. The only unknown really is Molly. Now, if Molly dies, do we still live or we have to all escape? Yeah. You have to all, all escape. escape. So and Molly to needs to ensure she doesn't just so die. So what I'm hearing is there's a chance we could lose and it would be your fault, Alex. I think we clearly established whose fault it is I, regardless of how I, it plays out. I do hear what you're saying, but... Where is Molly? Well, Molly she's is surrounded, surrounded by, by four runners. runners. And she has four actions, but she has... Yeah, she has four actions to take out four runners and head to the train. Guess how achievable that is. Uh... Mm. It's currently not without moral support. Oh. By moral support, I do not mean moral. <laughs> it's going to be Jeb. Jeb's going to have to help me. No, Jeb can barely Jeb? escape. Yeah, no, Jeb's Jeb, getting... Jeb, Jeb has two movement to the train and then two shots at the runners. No, but he's Jeb got, has but to he's got to pick token. up the, the oh. objective. Token. That's fine. So he has, one, he has one shot at the runners. That's going to be the, no, that's I be don't the game. I think so. Look, because he has to move one, two, two. three. No, one, two, three. So, oh, oh interesting. Picks it up. One, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. We're, I think we're dead. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 wait. No, 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 no. no, no. We have, no, we have him on the train. We I have, can, uh, yeah, we I, have, I can, uh, he can step, step off, step off, fire off. his gun, and hop back on. Correct. You don't even need to step off. You can just fire off the gun from the train. Can I? Why not? Yeah. Around the door. Yeah. You can, like, hang out. So, the it comes window. out to Carl. Like, this is, Carl's this gonna... is an opening. Yes. So, this counts as an adjacent, adjacent zone. Nice. So it comes down to Carl taking pot shots from the train, hopefully not killing me along the way, and that's <laughs> going to be the game. We're gonna, this is this is tight. Yeah, Let's yeah. Do this. <laughs> All right. So did... it's a good ending. With Carl okay. shooting from the back of the train. Yes. <laughs> As Molly desperately scrapes to get on, I love it. <laughs> I'm seeing the cinema, cinema, cinematic moments now, Jesse. Do you want me to jump onto the balcony? Would that help at all? Uh, you are over there. You actually you need to just get to the train. Yeah, you need to get to the train. Okay. Anyways, who turns it? Is Jeb's turn? Yeah. Jeb's turn. Cassie. Grab that token. Wait. Uh, Jeb's first. No, no, Cassie went. Cassie went out. No, 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 no. Uh, Molly was first player. Cassie already took yep. a turn and is on the train. So, grab oh. the grab the. The thing you have it, you are getting a Muster C96. Mauer, I think, is a Muster. Exactly, muster. close enough. Ma Mauser, Mauser. Mauser. Yep. So, a what mauser. am I throwing away? I am moving this rifle here and taking that. I and have no I've... need for any of this anyway, but. Well. I believe all you have to do is go one, two, two three. Three. And you're on. Yeah, Excellent. barely. Wait, okay. no, I can't do that. Why, Why not? not? Because this is a zone of zombies. No. No, no, it's so I you said it's, you said it separates when the train's on no. here, and this middle zone is separated. Yeah, no, when the train not. is taking all the tracks, but right now, like this is one zone, which is uh. why I can board from here. Uh. oh no. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. It sounds what you're saying it sounds like we're gonna die. <laughs> one, two, no way. Yeah, one. So that extra <laughs> activation card at the end did it. Yes. Yes. Wow. Oh, Moon what a butt. mess. So Carl doesn't get to the shoot. cinematic moments oh, are, are being are being lost here. I was waiting for him hanging out of the back of the caboose and just laying fire. So, so Jeb's going to like trip running towards and just get pounced on by zombies while the train continues pulling off down the track. <laughs> the nice thing yeah. is Carl gets to wave at him from behind. Carl, do you at least will Carl roll the dice to see if you at least put Jeb out of his misery as you go on. Yeah, just just aim directly in. for Jeb. Aim it's directly the merciful thing Jeb. to do. It, it really is. Aim directly yeah. Jeb. <laughs> Here you go, Jeb. <laughs> And oh, you missed no. no. Jeb, oh, is Jeb, is going to, yeah, Jeb is going to suffer and turn into a zombie. Oh my gosh. Perpetuate oh. the. All right. Well, well, let's see how many we can get to safety. Well, the game, yeah. the game ends in a sequence of screaming and crying. Wow. No, it, it's fine. It's fine. Carl, do your thing. Try to save oh. Molly. I'll be fine. But would the best 
what what I have used an activation to swap out, use my twin barrel. You think instead of this uh, Colt bunt liner? I think you would have used what you had. It was a very it was a high strung moment. Well, you figure. Yeah. Two two just yeah. So all right. I do hear what you're saying. You've always wanted to kill Jeb, but <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. So are we are we gonna play this out? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep playing it out. Let's finish it all off. Right, let's let's play it out. So, Carl, of course. Laying out of why is that it's not locked up? Sitting out of the back of the caboose here. Yep. Gonna use this uh this Colt bunt line. Rolling. And there you go. It takes one nice. out. And he's gonna roll again. Takes another out. Takes two out. First one was going like both of them were going after Jeb. And then the third doesn't. And then the fourth one would have been. No. Misses as well. So only takes out two. No, no heroic day for Carl. Oh. I can still take some of them. Huh. Okay. Trixie. I can jump. So can you jump out of a zone with zombies in it? One extra action to do that, but yeah. Okay. So this is two actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Three. And I can shoot some zombies too. Yep. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, or we could just try to shoot Carl again. That's I true. mean, Jeff. <laughs> Carl, you're going to shoot me because I didn't do the, my job the, right the first time? Uh, no, it's all Carl. or nothing, Carl. It's all or nothing. <laughs> I use my shotgun. Trixie and you have some history. It's story yeah. at best. Yeah. All right. I'm going to use my shotgun one day. Okay. Dead. It'll pop the head of a zombie. Yeah. Okay. Then this to me, I believe. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and roll my uh, one die and a hey, four plus. Wait. There was. What was the card that we picked up? We picked up the Mauer. Gain five AP yeah. or more while standing on a balcony in a single turn. Okay, we couldn't have accomplished that either. Okay. Because I was thinking roll. maybe there was a way for us to accomplish the card without picking up the token on the way to the train. Zombies dead. I walk onto oh. the uh, the train, and we wave bye to Jeb. Yeah, and then so the close. train, and then the train leaves. Alex, leaving what was it? Jeb behind. What was it that you said at the very beginning of this, talking about the experience that you want to have when you play Zombicide? What was that sequence? I believe the words you're looking for was "it's Shira's fault." Oh, I mean, sure, you're no, no. the other thing. The other, the other thing. thing. Yeah, the other one. So zombicide is best when you win by the skin of your teeth. And the second way to that it's bad. The second best way is when you lose by the skin of your teeth. I would, I would qu yeah. classify this as the skin of your teeth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, definitely. We saved everyone, but this one guy <laughs> yeah. who just, I knew he was going to be a problem. <laughs> I call it. Oh, a Jeb. Oh, Jeb. Oh, Jeb. <laughs> Terrible. Excellent. So, close to all so that's Zombicide. So, uh, yeah. First impressions, final thoughts. Uh, I have probably the least experience of Zombicide uh, between everyone. And I have to say, I enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, I like the train mechanic. But I also, I also am really into this theme. I know there's a variety of other themes that are out um, in terms of like uh, expansions and new mechanics and there's the the, the you know I, again I'm going to butcher names and stuff but you have like the sci-fi zombies you have the old school zombies you have modern day zombies I like I like the I like the west I like a good western story uh, I grew up playing um, you know uh, what's that cowboy game Red Dead. Red, Dead. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption you get the zombie you get the zombie adaption for that uh, is absolutely charming and it's exactly what this seems to reflect to me uh, Alex uh, Jazz uh, what uh, what do you yeah, what do you guys I think? I can jump in. So so for me, I mean, Zombicide for me is a game that I generally love, but I love I don't love them all equally. Uh, this one does some things that I really do like. I like the simplification of the noise movement. It it gives you the same element of noise without all the fiddliness of counting so many tokens. It's a it's a nice clean addition to the game. Uh, the train is a nice little clever little addition to the game. Uh, it doesn't it's not like to me particularly amazing, but it adds this kind of timeline mechanic that you're 
you're tracking what's happening. And I know there'll be different scenarios in terms of the way the train acts in, in each, but I do like the, the train aspect. Uh, I like the spawn zones that are pop up in the various locations as you walk into buildings. For me, Invader, one of the things Invader lost to me is that thrill of walking into a building and the ensuing damage that it causes. Uh, I like walking into buildings and having bad things happen. It's, it's why I play Zombicide. Uh, overall, I would say that I like what this is doing. There, there are some things about Black Plague I still prefer. Like I do like random Zombicide spawns when you walk into a building. But uh, visually, this is great. Uh, I like the, 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 the Gatling gun mechanic. I like the weapons, the characters. Uh, overall, I would say this is a solid addition to the Zombicide genre. Yeah, I like I said, my, my experience is straight up, you know, OG, um, Zombicide, and Black Plague. And like, you know, to reiterate what Jesse was saying, the theme just hits me. I'm a, I'm a big sucker for Westerns, you know, old, old school Westerns, but even the new age, you know, new age Western movies. Yeah. But th that theme of that train coming through, you know, it just, you know, if I was to watch, be watching a Western movie and just having, you know, the, the people just waiting for that train to come through, that's really their only way out. I think of like an old school Western town in the middle of, you know, you know, Podunk, um, you know, Nevada, you know, a lot of those, uh, you know, I guess you would call them little zombie towns, ghost towns. My uncle's taken me to them um, where it's just like, hey, let's go check out this town. It's in the middle of nowhere. And it's like, there's no way out unless that train that's coming through, you know, is, is pretty much your last resort. So I, I guess thematically, I can see how this works definitely within that Western um, theme. And that Gatling gun, yeah, it's just pure utter destruction. You know, when you have a, an awesome nun sitting right on top of the Gatling gun, of course, it would have been nice if she would have used her, you know, holy water um, or found some holy water. But, you know, she was a pretty, uh, pretty hardcore nun there. You know, she's one of those that, you know, made it to the seminary, got kicked out a couple times, had to bounce from seminary to seminary, you know, but, you know, she did her work. Of course, Jeb, it would have been nice for Jeb <laughs> to, to do a job. But um, no, yeah, I like this. Um, if it came for me, like straight thematics, um, I'd, I'd stick to this and OG Zombicide. That's just me. Yeah, see, I, I think I think a Western for me is is more up the thematic route than any of the others I've seen so far. Shira, what do you think? First impressions, final thoughts? I still haven't won a game, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, neither has Helena. Don't neither, worry. Neither, yeah. No, she doesn't want a game of Zombicide ever. Ever. Anytime I play with Alex and our another mutual friend, I have never won a game. So yeah. it gets increasingly frustrating, but also increasingly <laughs> like a challenge every single time. So I will continue to play. Um, I've only played Black Plague, I believe. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to see what the other ones are. I like space a lot. Oh, so um, we'll do Invader sometime. We have Invader. I like space. I like the galaxy. Um, so I'd be curious to see what it looked like. I did like the train. Um, I like the different classes. Um, I like the not having to do the door thing. That was also really <laughs> nice. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't like having Simplified to knock on the doors. <laughs> um, yeah, those are my impressions. Cool. Well, thank you so much for uh, for swinging by and showing off uh, this uh, this new zombie side. I am excited, uh, and uh, really, I mean, I'm uh, I'm totally down to to swing into another gameplay if uh, if the people doth demand it, and if we have another scenario we can run at some point. So, uh, Helena, always a pleasure. I'm looking forward to playing more games with you, and I cannot wait until uh, I can officially announce that you are the lead marketing director for SEMA. We'll get there. We'll get there together. Neither can I. You no, know, wait. I think is, I was is, really Jeff, is Jeff technically the lead marketing director? Or what is he? What's his role? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's Jeff. So I'm going to need him. I'm going to need him to get a promotion because I also don't want to lose out. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeff's a great guy. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. I really thought they were going to make it to the end, but I have to admit, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that everything wrapped up Nonetheless, I'm super excited to get my hands on the actual physical version of uh, Undead or Alive. Uh, I think out of all of the zombie sides, like I said in that gameplay, this is going to be the one that actually gets added to my shelf and that I actually spend countless hours sitting down and painting and customizing. I mean, I grew up playing, you know, playing as a cowboy, wearing the Daniel Boone, uh, you know, skin coon hat. And, uh, and the, uh, the shirt with little tassels that my mom made me for, uh, for Halloween. 
uh, this game lets you do that again. So, all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know uh, if, you, uh, if you're swinging over there and backing it immediately, if you're testing the waters and seeing what you're interested in, or if you're just here because you just enjoy some gameplay from Quackalo. All that being said, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. I'll see you next time. Thank you.